Hi and welcome to another Decred Recap. There's so much going on in the Decred project development-wise, let's dive right into it. DCRDEX is a non-custodial, privacy-respecting exchange for trustless trading powered by atomic swaps. On the user end, support has been added for mixed DCR accounts. Users are now allowed to switch between different host names of the same DEX server. A send action has been added that doesn't subtract the fee from the amount, unlike the withdraw action. SPV support for native DCR wallets has been added. They also added support for descriptor wallets, which became default in Bitcoin Core version 23. Looking at DEX asset support progress, the Solidity compiler for Ethereum has been updated to the latest version. Support has been added for Zcash. Litecoin was upgraded to version 0.21.2. Litecoin's privacy Mimble Wimble sidechain is also supported. And among other changes, fixed funds unlocking math for smaller lot sizes, redesigned connection management to be more robust and have a nicer API, and added metering where processing of new blocks will not be triggered more frequently than every 10 seconds. In progress is adding USDC on testnet. DCR LND is Decred's Lightning Network node software. Lightning Network enables instant and low cost transactions. A new initial chain sync RPC service was added that allows to track the progress of the initial chain sync process. DCRD is the full node that powers the Decred network. Recently, it was optimized to use the new zero allocation 256-bit integers package. The result is 100 megabytes less heap usage on average and 5% faster initial blockchain sync time. Support has been added so that DCRD will now be shut down cleanly on more variants of Unix as well as when being terminated by Windows itself due to various things such as the user logging off, the window terminal being closed, and the system shutting down. DCRD now uses an inverted order in which transactions are added to the mempool during a re organization to correct the calculation of transaction chain statistics under special circumstances. This change helps ensure miners maximize fees for large transaction chains across reorgs. The mempool has been updated to reject standalone treasury-based transactions. Every block is required to have a treasury-based transaction that pays the required subsidy to the treasury. A policy that allowed for low fee transactions to get relayed and mined has been removed as it is now unneeded. Users can bump the priority of stuck transactions using additional transactions, also known as child pays for parent. Now looking at Decred's graphical wallet to Crediton, a revoke ticket hash has been added to the revocation transaction page. A never-ending loading button was fixed on the treasury spending tab. And scrolling has been fixed when UI animations were disabled. Development work for Politea, Decred's proposal platform is ongoing for both the back end and front end. On the back end, signal handling logic was updated and improved in Politea Voter by supporting SigTerm. On Windows, this will shut down Politea Voter cleanly if the user logs off or if the system is shutting down. For the GUI, support has been added for drop down header customization. The submission of empty comments has also been fixed. Generic listeners have been implemented that can subscribe and react. To actions and state changes in any plugins. Visual enhancements for proposals have also been added. Developers also implemented a new proposal page. GoDCR is a lightweight desktop GUI wallet written in Go. Users can now restore wallets from a hex private key. When privacy has been turned on, the auto ticket buyer will only allow to select a mixed account to fund ticket purchases. It also resets the config save earlier to prevent accidental use of unmixed funds. Added a fee asset selector to the DEX registration flow. Started updates to the version 2 design. This adds the main app navigation and implements a wallet selection page. Updated wallet onboarding views to support multiple assets. When fully implemented, users could choose to create a Decred or Bitcoin wallet, and this will complement the DEX trading integration. There has also been substantial work done on creating mobile device layouts for GoDCR on Android and iOS. And of course, as a reminder, GoDCR is on the wallets page on Decred.org to download. On DCR data, the UI has had a fix to the vote status display. Tiny Decred is a Python toolkit for integrating Decred. It includes an experimental light GUI wallet. Developer Buck has shared an update on the second version of Teeny Decred he's been working on since early 2021. Teeny Wallet 2 is designed to be available through any platform that supports web apps. This includes all major desktop and mobile platforms and browser extensions. To demonstrate the tech, Teeny Wallet has prototyped in-wallet private chat via Lightning and a website that your wallet can interact with to guide the user into opening a Lightning channel and even finding others to add to their address book. Teeny Wallet 2 will have a DEX integration to trade Bitcoin and Decred directly in the wallet. 
Looking at Decred documentation, the 1.7 consensus votes were added to the vote archive. New numbers and graphs are also available on the issuance page, and updated block reward values are on the docs homepage. On Decred.org, a disclaimer was added to the exchanges page, letting users know that only DCR DEX is self-custodial and will not request additional information. Hugo and the Lottie web player were updated. The outdated 1.6 release page was removed. And now we'll see what the community has been up to, starting with an interview from Jake Okampayat on CoinJournal. Decentralized exchanges are sort of the direction to go, and, and we actually started moving that direction back in 2018. I got fed up with the listing process and people trying to basically, you know, demand hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars for, for exchange listings. And we, you know, I proposed a decentralized exchange infrastructure. And then we built it over the next two years and then it went live in um, fall or I guess it was winter of 2020. So we've had it live for almost two years. Seems to be going pretty well. The, you know, there's a decent amount of action, not quite as much as Binance, but there's a huge incentive not to churn. So, so when you have a centralized exchange like Binance, you can have a bot up and as long as you have a decent deal with somewhere like Binance, you can just churn that bot all day with effectively zero fees and generate a bunch of fake volume. With an on-chain decentralized exchange, you can't really do that because you're actually you're actually swapping coins from you know chain A to chain B and B, chain B to chain A. So there's a concrete cost to doing that, and then it, it, you know there's also a concrete on-chain signature for that. Most people's perception of decentralized exchange is, oh, it's a smart contract on Ethereum, and it's like, well, okay, how are you accessing that smart contract? Oh, through MetaMask, and it's like, well, it's only a matter of time before MetaMask starts censoring people really aggressively. It can, it, it's only going to get worse from here on out because MetaMask is effectively a centralized server. This process of decentralized exchange is going to have to get a lot more decentralized in in order for it to, uh, you know, for it to really progress. Guard Arian has announced that buying and selling Decred for fiat is possible on their platform. Supported fiat currencies are Euro, US Dollar, and Great British Pound, and they can be sent over payment processors like Visa. Bitpanda announced that Decred is now available on their exchange. Jay-Z posted a script for spinning up a Decred full node on popular Linux distros with a simple bash command. It is good practice to not blindly run code from the internet and read it before executing. The script here is just 40 lines of code. Bison Pool is a new kind of proof of stake pool which enables all Decred holders to earn proof of stake rewards even if they cannot afford a whole ticket on their own. To make this possible, Bison Pool pulls users DCR and purchases split tickets. The website has a nice interface display current rewards and current split tickets. It should be noted that this is a custodial service, meaning Bison Pool has control of users' funds. There is a risk that your Decred can be stolen if you choose to use this service. Remember, not your keys, not your coins. Please use this at your own risk. Decred Project Lead Jay Kukumpai was on the Decred State of the Market live stream. Okay, next question is, what would you like to see Decred develop next? Well, okay, so this one has a nuanced answer. I've developed it and it's almost ready and it fills a gap that we've had for a very long time and it involves lightning network and i'm not gonna say anything you know i'm not gonna say a whole lot else so 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 you can think about it like this which is that there's a whole bunch of problems in the world around us today there's one of them that makes me absolutely crazy and I'm going to try to address that. So whether whether people you know feel that I that I did a good job addressing that, um, we'll see soon enough. So do you have do any we, estimation do... for like an, yes. an announcement on this or <laughs> two months? Two months, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Two months and all the <laughs> okay. everything, all all the bits and bobs are working. So now it's just it's time to it's time to shine it up. It's going to have a GUI. It's effectively feature complete, and we just got to make it look good and you know shine it up a bit before we get it out there. Be sure to tune into the next live stream on Sunday, August 7th, with Dex developer Buck. Decrypt Society has a new video on the Block Explorer. As I previously said, Block Explorers offer a wealth of information, and DCR data is leaps and bounds above even the most popular explorers. Here we can see how the Bitcoin blockchain has grown over the years to a current size of 412 gigabytes. When you compare this to Decred's block blockchain size of less than nine gigabytes, you start to realize how manageable Decred's blockchain currently is. The next shot in the list is the average block size and once again shows the maximum size of a Bitcoin block has indeed changed, reportedly 
a maximum block can now be 4 megabytes or 400% full. In Decred's case, exceeding the maximum block size rule is not permitted. And because all nodes are running the same software, the block would be rejected. This evidence can also be found in DCR data's block size chart. The level of depth you can go to when doing research is extensive, and I can't express deeply enough the importance of looking into on-chain data before making an investment decision. Understanding how to interpret the information will also give you a massive edge and hopefully reduce the chances of getting pulled into projects that have no true value or more participation or use case. The second treasury payout with the new T-Spend rules was approved and paid out to Decred contractors, spending 3,205 Decred, worth almost 90,000 US dollars as of today's rate. Looking at network statistics, we have seen a large dip in hash rate as a result of the subsidy change, whereby mining is continuing to balance itself out as proof-of-work miners now only receive 10% of the block reward. The current treasury is worth 22.4 million US dollars, 61% of the circulating supply is mixed. Shout out to Caramble for creating this nice animation. Ticket price remains steady at 224 Decred per ticket. And finally, let's take a look at Politea, Decred's proposal platform. The GoDCR wallet proposal failed with only 20% voter approval and a 57% voter turnout, amounting to over 23,000 votes being cast. Proposals need at least 60% voter approval in order to pass. As shown earlier in this video, there's still ongoing dev work, so maybe we'll see another proposal in the future. The Decred Brazil marketing proposal failed with 19% voter approval and a 57% voter turnout. Victor Guedes said in an interview, even though the proposal was rejected, the community is thriving and it was a good experience. I would expect an improved proposal to be submitted at some point in the future. And the Decred magazine proposal was passed with 87% voter approval and a 28% voter turnout. The Decred Magazine is a content hub for all things related to Decred, from technical articles, to developer interviews, to community created art. It's a great source of information which continues to grow. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.